much for your time. I call the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, Madam Chair, the um, questions that were asked by the last four contributions were um, incredibly similar to the questions that were asked earlier in the debate, um, but there were one or two that had not been addressed, so I'll try and address them. The first thing, though, is that I just would remind members that what we, were t we are talking about now is people who live in retirement villages, not people who are in rest homes, and that cuts out quite a lot of the debate because this isn't about rest homes. This is about people who buy a villa in a retirement or an apartment in a retirement village, and instead of getting a unit title, they have an occupational rights agreement, more often known as licence to occupy. So that, um, that cuts out any of those questions about the rest homes and um, contribution that government makes. Um, we have been over the cost, we've been over the administrative cost. Um, the unit title reform legislation that the Honourable Nikki Kay um, raised is not at all related to this. In fact, if it was related to this, we wouldn't be having the debate because this is about people who do not have a unit title. That's the point of the debate. It's filling the gap. Um, and finally, um, Mr O'Connor raised the question of um, definition. And the answer is no. If somebody moves out of the villa, whether it's two days or two years after the, the start of the rating year, they are no longer eligible. You have to be resident in that property in order to be eligible to apply for a rates rebate. I call David Seymour. The, the motion be now put. Uh, I call, I call uh, the Honourable Maggie Barry. Thank you, Madam Chair. When I was